Hey guys, MKBHD here, back with another high definition video, and today we're going to be taking a look at Internet Explorer. Yes, I didn't think I would be saying this or ever doing a video about this, but today we have the newest version of Internet Explorer 9 beta, which is actually a humongous improvement over Internet Explorer 8, the final version. So just so you guys know, this yes is still in beta, which means it's not meant to be your full-time browser, but you certainly could go with this option if you're still using Internet Explorer 8. So this is the first page it greets you with. You can see it says, Welcome to a More Beautiful Web. You can see how it works, and you can see it's actually pretty much broadcasting that fish tank test we looked at back in our Google Chrome 7 video. So basically I'm going to give you guys a look over the overhaul of the user interface, what I like to call an interface lift. So we'll close out of that here. So you can see there's a whole lot of screen space at the bottom, and up here next to the URL bar, there's a very nice user space, which I could actually get used to in something like Chrome or whatever, who else uh, decides to adopt this. You have the URL bar on the left-hand side with back and forward, and your typical uh, Omni bar here, which you'll see uh, with something like uh, Google Chrome. Then you have the X button for stopping things and reloading. Then you have your tabs here. You can open a new tab, and you're presented with this nice little most visited sites, so you can see this is the least active. I've only visited this once, visited this once, and I've visited Google a ton of times. So that's basically uh, how it'll sort your most viewed pages. So you can open a new tab that way. All the way over on the right hand side here, there's your home button. Of course my home is google.com, ironically enough. There's also your favorites button, typical Microsoft. You can obviously, obviously, obviously move it over to the left hand side uh, with that button and close your favorites here. And it has a Chrome-like tools button with that little wrench so you can print and do all your different things. I really think this is a much better implementation. If you saw Internet Explorer 8, there was a giant uh, area here where you would actually have all your tools and things. Uh, you wouldn't be able to have them just behind one little button right here just like that. So that's really nice. So something else I want to show you guys is that fish tank test. If you remember, I did that in the Chrome 7 video. It did perform relatively well. Not stunning, but certainly better than the last version of Google Chrome. So you can find this at the link in the description along with the download link to Internet Explorer 9. And I'll make sure I get it <laughs> right this time. So you can see right off the bat with the screen recorder going, you can see we're getting about 55 frames a second with 20 fish, which is very impressive. You're not going to get all those frames. See we max out at 60 frames a second here. We go to 50 fish with hardware acceleration, we still maintain that. 100 fish with hardware acceleration or over 30 frames a second. So this is going to perform a lot better than Chrome 7. I never thought I'd say that, but it's actually really, uh, basically with hardware acceleration, movements going on within your browser and things like this are going to perform much better. So of course with one fish we're going to get a ridiculous frame count. Uh, something else we want to show you guys is the ACID 3 test. A very popular test, of course, by standard it'll Bing search everything. Uh, you can obviously, well, you can change this to be Google. I haven't exactly gone through the preferences yet. You can go to Internet Options just like you could in the last version, and I suppose you can change that to Google. But I'm actually fine with Bing. I don't have a problem with it. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the ACID 3 test. You saw the scrolling bar up there. Uh, and it looks like we are going to be stuck at an awkward 70, uh, 95. I do recall people saying in the Chrome video that they got 95 out of 100, and that was just a quick little image rendering problem somewhere. You're not really going to notice it in everyday browsing, but there is something to notice that you're, you're not going to get 100 out of 100. So like I said, this is a much faster version of this browser. I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit out of it and actually bring a shortcut over to our desktop so you can see how fast it actually opens up. So here we go, three, two, one. So it's actually pretty fast. If you if you ask me, it's not quite at the speed of Chrome, but it's definitely going to force me to drop something like Firefox. Uh, not to make any Firefox fans mad out there, but that does take quite a bit longer to open than Internet Explorer. And you gotta you gotta admit that's that's something to, to look up to. So if we go to YouTube, a site that we may visit every day, it's still not the fastest browser out there, but you can tell it's got a whole lot more enhancements, especially in the user interface side of things, than Internet Explorer 8. So overall, this is definitely a thumbs up if you want to go ahead and try this. If you're still using an older version of Internet Explorer, you can go ahead and upgrade to this beta. You won't have any problems. So this has been a quick little overview of Microsoft's latest attempt at a decent browser, and I have to say they've done a much better job than I had anticipated, but it's still not going to be bringing me off my trusty Google Chrome. Just throwing that out there. 
All right, so MKBHD here with a video review of Internet Explorer 9 Beta. Talk to you guys in the next video. Signing out. Peace.